Jonathan here. I just want to go over box plots and quartiles, inner quartile range. Uh, a few different ideas here. So let's say this is a set of scores. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven scores. So n is equal to seven. That's the number of scores I have. I do have to put them all in order, which I've already done. If I'm trying to find the middle value with seven scores, it's, kind of, it's easy because I just have one middle value right there. Um, three values below it, three values above it. Oops, there's the bell, I better hurry. I have seven values. Anytime it's odd, it'll be easy to find that median. The median is the middle number. Then I need to find the first quartile. Well, there are three values to the left, three values to the right. So this is my first quartile. This would be my second quartile. This would be my third quartile. Um, and that's how I split it. It's a good way to kind of show the distribution of data and how close it is. If I want my interquartile range, IQR, I take my third quartile, 85, and I subtract my first quartile, 75, and I get an interquartile range of 10. My overall range, in this case, would be my largest, 90, minus my smallest, 70, to give me 20. And to draw a box plot, the box is going to be the size of your first quartile, 75, to your third quartile, 85, and then your last quartile is going to go over to 90, and your first quartile goes down to 70. So that's how you draw a box plot, find the interquartile range, the range, the median. Okay. However, when you have more values, like an even number, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, when I have 10 values, the middle value will be the middle two. So right here uh, is my middle two values. I have four values below that, four values above it. So my median, I actually average my middle two values. So my median is 76.5. So that's my median. So that's right in the middle here, but I could see I have five values to the left and five values to the right. So my first quartile, you could actually use this value. My first quartile is at 70. Oh, uh, class is coming in, I'll go quick. My first quartile, I have five values to the right. This is right in the middle of those five values. This is my third quartile. My inner quartile range is my third quartile, 88, minus my first quartile, 70, and I get an interquartile range of 18. My overall range would be the largest value, 95, minus the smallest value, 60. So my range is 35. My median, my middle value is 76.5. Okay, well hopefully that'll help with the box plot. Uh, interquartile range, overall range, and median. Again, if you have an odd number of values, the middle value is your median. If you have an even number of values, then you take the two middle values and you average them. Thanks. Thanks for watching.